Oh, 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 it's so good. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I have to keep this super short because I got on ready to watch this episode, episode nine of season six. I look at the title because I always look at the titles and the freaking title of this episode is Battle of the Bastards. So look, honestly, I was semi expecting to get this Winterfell battle within the next few episodes and especially because you know, it's towards the end of the season, but I didn't think they just straight up title it that. So that is really damn exciting. So obviously that confirms this is going to be where we're going to finally get to see this battle that's been, you know, it's been teased for so long. I mean, even before in season five, we were teased about having it with Stannis, but then it ended up just kind of being a slaughter. And then now it's going to be with Jon and obviously the bastards. They're referring to Jon and Ramsay. Obviously, those are like the only two prominent bastards in the show other than like Gendry, who's not in the story anymore. So I cannot wait to watch this. It's an episode nine and episode nines are usually amazing. Actually, not usually all nine. Ep all five of the episode nines have been really great. Like they've all been actually. Yeah, they've all been in my top 10 favorite episodes. I would I would probably put all of them in my top 10. So hopefully this one can be just as great. I don't doubt that it will be. So let's just jump right into it. If you want to see the full on cut reaction, that'll be on my Patreon link to that will be in the description down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's watch. I am so damn excited. I can't even. I got the North Remember shirt on right now. It's just it fits perfectly. You know how I am. I, lo I love my battle episodes. I love the battle episodes. Oh, this is back at Marine. Whoa. Oh, that is a cool shot. That is really cool. Dude, Marines just I don't even know if it's going to win this. This is a lot. They have an army, but can they fight against fireballs? The masters cannot let Marine succeed. Because if Marine succeeds, a city without slavery, a city without masters, it proves that no one needs a master. That's why they're attacking. Shall we begin? Begin. We have a plan. I will crucify the masters. <laughs> Kill every last one of their soldiers and return their cities. To yeah, them. I, I kind of hope she does. They're already attacking, so go for it. You once told me you knew what your father was. Did you know his plans for King's Landing when Lannister armies were at his gates? Wildfire. Well, he told my brother and Jamie told me. He had caches of wildfire hidden under the Red Keep, the Guild Halls, the Scepter Baylor, all the major thoroughfares. He would have burned every one of his citizens. Just have the dragons only destroy the boats. Whoa! If you had not been so arrogant, you could have returned to your homeland with a fleet of ships. Instead, you will flee Slaver's Bay on foot, like the beggar queen you are. We are here to discuss terms of surrender, not to trade insults. I don't think they're gonna do that. You and your foreign friends will abandon the Great Pyramid and the city of Marine. The Unsullied you stole from Krasny's Mona Claus will remain to be sold again. The dragons beneath the Great Pyramid will be slaughtered. Oh no! We obviously didn't communicate clearly. <laughs> we had to discuss your surrender, not mine. Damn. Come on, just get those dragons out. I want to see them just take everyone out. I'm I'm fine with that. Only the enemies. Take the enemies out. Your reign is over. My reign has just begun. <laughs> oh, I hear them. Oh! <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Damn! She's becoming a pro at dragon riding. The music's so good. It always is, but I mean, <laughs> I always gotta point out when it's really, really good. Oh! Oh, it's so good. Oh! Oh, they're breaking out? <laughs> I love their colors. Oh my god. Is this gonna be Dario leading the Dothraki? I don't know if he's leading them, but it's just it's just all of them. Yep. Dario should be in there, right? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe not. Holy shit. Oh he is, yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Oh <laughs> This is awesome! This is, has to be a really expensive scene in terms of budget. Dracaris. 
<laughs> oh my god, I love it. It's exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. <laughs> They're all fought. <laughs> That was uh, such a good scene. Thank you for the armada. Our queen does love ships. <laughs> Last time we spoke, we made a pact. You violated that pact. You declared war upon us. Though our queen does have a forgiving nature, this cannot be forgiven. Our queen insists that one of you must die. Just one of them? Him. He should die. Yes, him. No. Damn, what an asshole. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I thought he was going to kill the one on the right because he was the one who first sold him out, but that works too. Tell your people what happened here. Tell them you live by the grace of her majesty. That was incredible. What's going on here? The Boltons meeting with who? They're meeting with John right now. What the shit? <laughs> I didn't think they'd be doing this now. Oh my god. Is that- was that Lady Mormon back there too? Holy shit. I can't contain my excitement. I really can't. My beloved wife. I've missed you terribly. Please, this- this has to be the episode John kills Ramsay. Surrender your army and proclaim me the true Lord of Winterfell and Warden of the North. I will pardon you for deserting the Night's Watch. I will pardon these treasonous lords for betraying my house. They ain't doing that. Come. <laughs> look at her look, look, look at her face. Why lead those poor souls into slaughter? There's no need for a battle. Get off your horse. I'm needed. They want their home. I'm a man of mercy. No, you're not. Thousands of men don't need to die. Only one of us. Oh, a 1v1? Is that what the Battle of the Bastards is gonna be? Ramsey wouldn't do that. He knows he'd lose. He knows he'd lose 100%. I keep hearing stories about you, bastard. The way people in the North talk about you, you're the greatest swordsman who ever walked. Maybe you are that good. Maybe not. I don't know if I'd beat you, but I know that my army will beat yours. I have 6,000 men. You have half that. Will your men want to fight for you when they hear you wouldn't fight for them? <laughs> He's good. Very good. Tell me, will you let your little brother die because you're too proud to surrender? How do we know you have him? Do they have proof on them? Oh, they have the head? What the hell? They're just carrying that around? Now, if you want to save You're going to die tomorrow, Lord Bolton. <laughs> yes, please. Sleep well. Either John or Sansa better be the one to do it. If Brienne gets to kill Stannis, I think Sansa should get to kill Ramsay or John. I look forward to having her back in my bed. Oof. And you're all fine looking men. My dogs are desperate to meet you. I haven't fed them for seven days. They're ravenous. I wonder which parts they'll try first. This is so good already. In the morning then. Bastard. <laughs> if he was smart, he'd stay inside the walls of Winterfell and wait us out. He knows the North is watching. If the other houses sense weakness on his part, they'll stop fearing him. He can't have that. Fear is his power. It's his weakness, too. His men don't want to fight for him. They're forced to fight for him if they feel the tide turning. Maybe. I know what mounted knights can do to us. You and Stannis cut through us like piss through snow. We're digging trenches all along our flanks. They won't be able to hit us the way that Stannis hit you. Is 1-1 one -one gonna join the fight, too? He has no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> They won't be able to hit us from the sides. Good. It's crucial that we let them charge at us. They've got the numbers. We need the patience. If we let him buckle our center, he'll pursue. And we'll have him surrounded on three sides. I lived with him. I know the way his mind works. I know how he likes to hurt people. Did it ever once occur to you that I might have some insight? Well, share. You think he's going to fall into your trap? He won't. He's the one who lays traps. He's overconfident. I guess, yeah. He's far better at it than you. He's been doing it all his life. Ryan, what have I been doing all my life? Playing with broomsticks. <laughs> I've fought beyond the wall against worse than Ramsay Bolton. You don't know him. All right, tell me. 
What should we do? How do we get Rickon back? We'll never get him back. Oh, you can't be given up like that. As long as he lives, Ramsay's claim to Winterfell will be contested, which means he won't live long. Yeah, if if they fear they're losing, they probably will just kill him. What should I do differently? I don't know. I don't know anything about battles. Just don't do what he wants you to do. Oh, that's good advice. If you had asked for my advice earlier, I would have told you not to attack Winterfell until we had a larger force. Or is that obvious when too? When will we have a larger force? We've pleaded with every house that'll have us. The Blackfish can't help us. We're lucky to have this many men. It's not enough. No, it's not enough. It's what we have. I kind of agree with Sansa, but I don't know. It's risky. This is exactly how Stannis lost. He was rushing into it. I'm not going back there alive. Do you understand me? Oh my God. They have to win. I'll protect you, I promise. You won't be able to do that if you're dead though. No one can protect me. No one can protect anyone. That was a phenomenal scene. The, the acting was just top tier from the two of them. You want to avenge your king, don't you? It wasn't the Boltons defeated Stannis. Stannis himself. Yep. He lifted me up and made me something. But he had demons in his skull whispering foul things. You saw these demons? <laughs> what? No, it's a manner of speaking. <laughs> Not actual demons. <laughs> Mans didn't have demons in his skull. He didn't torture people or listen to some red witch. I believed in him. I thought he was the man to lead us through the long night. But I was wrong just like you. Maybe that was our mistake, believing in kings. Jon Snow's not a king. But he's a leader. I can never sleep the night before a battle. So what do you do all night? I walk. Think and walk. Think and walk until I'm far enough away from camp that no one can hear me shitting my guts out. <laughs> this is such a good scene too. I don't... All the dialogue is just on point right now. These two are already becoming kind of an interesting duo just from that one conversation. Because they do have a lot in common. Any advice? Don't lose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great advice. If I do, if I fall, don't bring me back. Oh my god. I'll have to try. I'm ordering you not to bring me back. I am not your servant, Jon Snow. You're in my camp. I serve the Lord of Light. I do what he commands. How do you know what he commands? I interpret his signs. What if all that shit is baloney? It's just a bunch of bullshit. That'd be kind of crazy. No, it can't be. We saw it for ourselves. We saw the shadow monster. That's not bullshit. Never mind. <laughs> And we saw him come back. It's always an unfortunate. What am, I what am I talking about? Maybe you're only needed for this small part of his plan and nothing else. Maybe he brought you here to die again. What kind of god would do something like that? The one we've got. <laughs> I feel like he's going to find something on his little walk. Oh no! He's going to... That's where they burned Shireen, right? He's going to find out about Shireen. Maybe she left something? That's crazy, that was a whole season ago. Oh yeah, that thing! Oh, that is so... Oh, oh no, he's gonna lose it. I wouldn't be surprised if he went and killed the Red Woman because of this. Damn, man. I mean, he had to find out eventually. That's a really good shot. Last time we saw each other was at Winterfell, yes? You were making jokes about my height, I seem to recall. Oh! Shit, they got there! Everyone who makes a joke about a dwarf's height thinks he's the only person ever to make a joke about a dwarf's height. And this is cool. Can't imagine you would have murdered the Stark boys if things had been going well. I didn't murder the Stark boys, but I did things that were just as bad. And he paid for them. Doesn't seem like it. His dick is missing. I'd call that paying for it. You've brought us a hundred ships from the Iron Fleet, with men to sail them. In return, I expect you want me to support your claim to the throne of the Iron Islands? Not my claim. Yes. Oh, what's wrong with you? I'm not fit to rule. We can agree upon that, at least. Has the Iron <laughs> Islands ever had a queen before? No more than Westeros. Our uncle Euron returned home after a long absence. He murdered our father and took the salt throne from Yara. He would have murdered us if we'd stayed. Lord Tyrion tells me your father was a terrible king. You and I have that in common. Damn. There are more than a hundred ships in the Iron Fleet. There are. And Euron is building more. He's going to offer them to you. So why shouldn't I wait for him? The Iron Fleet isn't all he's bringing. He also wants to give you... His big cock. 
I think you said. Yeah, you don't want that. Your runs offer is also an offer of marriage. You won't get one without the other. And I imagine your offer is free of any marriage demands. I never demand, but I'm up for anything, really. <laughs> He'll murder you as soon as you have what he wants. The Seven Kingdoms. And you don't want the Seven Kingdoms. Your ancestors defeated ours and took the Iron Islands. We ask you to give them back. We'd like you to help us murder an uncle or two. We don't think a woman's fit to rule. Reasonable. Seems like they want to... What if everyone starts demanding their independence? Join. She's not demanding, she's asking. <laughs> the others are free to ask as well. You will support my claim as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms and respect the integrity of the Seven Kingdoms. No more reaving, roving, raiding. That's our way of life. No more. Sounds fair to me. Daenerys is probably the most fit to be queen, uh, queen if we're going to be honest. I feel like she definitely isn't, you know. She, she's not going to go on a rampage killing people type of thing. I feel like like a lot of kings would. Like I feel like Stannis would do that. Like the, the light would say something and he'd start killing people. I don't know. Oh shit, are they set up outside of Winterfell? Oh shit. That's not a lot of men though. I mean, that's a decent amount. It's not a lot though. You could definitely use more than that. John at the front. I don't know how this is going to go, man. I feel like they're not going to win. Like, one one's definitely going to be the most used here. Are they just going to charge? Or are they just... What are they going to do? Oh, that is so cool. They got the X's. That is so cool. Oh, and there's actually bodies on them? Oh, I'm not surprised, but... <laughs> damn. Oh, shit. There's a lot more of them. It's just going to be a full-on... Just... Head smash and battle. What I love about the battles in the show is that they're so different. I mean, think about it. Like, you know, Blackwater was very different than the one at the Castle Black. That one was very different than the one at Hardhome. That was very different than what this appears to be right now. Is he holding Rickon with that rope? I swear, if they kill Rickon... Yep. He's like, holy shit, he's a grown-ass man. Oh, he's not... He's not a man yet, but he, he's pretty much older. <laughs> oh! John, why are you getting off your horse? I'm so excited, bro. I'm so excited, but I'm terrified too! Oh, jeez, why? Why are you doing this to me? Do you like games, little man? Let's play a game. Run to your brother. The sooner you make it to him. The sooner you get to see him again. That's it. That's the game. I don't like this. Go. No, you have to run, remember? I don't like this. No! No! Holy shit. <laughs> Ramsey is such a good villain. Like, I... He has been so interesting this whole show. You hate him so much. The show kills off so many people, like I, I wouldn't be surprised if he were to be killed here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Grab the damn kid. What? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Don't. Oh my god. I've never wanted someone dead more in my life. Kill this fucking man. That's... That's fucking horrible. Oh 
I got tears watering in my eyes. Dude, John! What? You can't be doing this on your own, man! You just- you can't, like... I get it, but... Now! Cavalry! Charge! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. How the hell is he gonna do this? <laughs> he can't. I, I don't... What the hell is he gonna do? We just kill our own men. Stand down. Yes! I swear, if one of those arrows comes even close to Sir Davos. Dude, who directed this episode? This is amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is amazing directing. It's all one shot. Oh, this is one of the best sequences. I can't tell you how much I love one shots like this. Oh, <laughs> I feel like this is going to be a very quick battle because it's just. I think that was one of the best sequences in the whole show. I mean, you all know how much I love one to- Holy shit, the arrows! Where's 1-1 one -one at? Because 1-1 one -one could fuck people up. Damn, John! I can't believe Rickon died! I, I just can't! This is so fucking cool! <laughs> Wow, there's just bodies of men. We may as well be taking shits back here. <laughs> Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Oh, I got the chills. Who owns the north? That guy looks kind of scary. I still can't get over it. I can't get over that one shot with Jon Snow. Hell yes, Tormund! They're like brothers at this point. Was that oh, a guy riding a- Oh, he was riding with no head! He had, his head was chopped off! <laughs> Finally, 1-1's one joining. Yo, come on, Hulk smash! Hulk smash, come on! Are they surrounded? Oh my god, they're surrounded. They need to do something. They need to do something. They are surrounded. Holy shit! They're just gonna slaughter you all, you need to do something. Oh my god, that's actually a really good maneuver. This is really smart of them, but this is not. And they have a whole wall of bodies there. I'd be trying to climb over those bodies. That's what I would do. I feel like it's gonna get hit with the Oh, or that. Oh my god. I don't know how they're gonna get out of this. I don't think they're gonna win, but I think John's gonna get out alive. Hell yeah, come on. <laughs> There we go. Yes. <laughs> this is really brutal. This is really showing how brutal battles and war can be. Wow. So Ramsey's just been sitting back there this whole time? I want John to run at Ramsey and just take his ass out. Oh shit! <laughs> he like I ripped him in half. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I started watching the show. 
What are they gonna do? Yeah, you better chance finding the guys up there. Oh, this guy's a fucking. This is gonna be a mini boss fight. Oh, maybe not. Dude, get off of him! God damn! Oh shit. Big Beard versus Big Beard. No! What the hell? There's just a bunch of dead bodies. Most of them are dead. No! Yo, wait a minute. Is it the Tullys? Or... Sansa called somebody, right? She sent a note to somebody. What? What? <laughs> that was Torment who did that? <laughs> I thought I thought Torment got stabbed for a second, got scared. Oh, the veil! That's who Sansa was contacting. The fucking veil. The Knights of the Veil. Holy shit! I didn't even think of that! I forgot about them! <laughs> oh my god! Oh hell yes, Sansa, you are the MVP fucking P. <laughs> oh, thank you so much! <laughs> They're gonna run right through them! Hell yeah! Just in time, too. Oh, I love their colors, that like blue and silver. John, can you go kill Ramsey? Yeah, kill his ass! Please, 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 please. Stick that fucking sword up his ass. <laughs> Come on, let's see it. Oh, look at his face. He's pissed. He's pissed. Oh, he's gonna run. Oh, come on. Come on, you're not gonna run. They're gonna go right back into Winterfell. I think this is I think this is my favorite episode of the show. This is probably my favorite episode. We have Winterfell. They don't have the men for a siege. All we have to do is wait. Oh, one one's breaking that down. Come on. There's still a couple decent amount of dudes in here though, so. <laughs> one one has taken so many shots, and he's still at going at it. Oh! Oh! No! He's taking too many hits. Oh! Well, at least, you know, he got everyone else in. Wow. <laughs> oh, I love this so much. You went out like a champion. No! I mean, I knew it was gonna come. I didn't think he would get one in the eye, though. Damn. You suggested one-on-one -on -one combat, didn't you? It's too late for that. Is John gonna do it? <laughs> I mean... I've reconsidered. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> and he was just gonna use a bow and arrow for that. He is such a piece of shit. <laughs> Come on, fuck him up. Yes, yes. Keep going. No one better step in. <laughs> Keep going until his face. <laughs> until his face is just a piece of smush, please. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Sansa's gonna. Uh, Sansa's. I don't know. Maybe Sansa can do it herself. I don't know. <laughs> He's, he's probably gonna die. That was a lot of punches. I am so shocked they won. I was like, <laughs> I totally forgot that you could. S I forgot about the veil. I forgot about Littlefinger. I forgot Sansa sent a message to someone. Yeah, that was deserving of the episode nine title, a thousand percent. I, I think it's my favorite episode. I, I feel like I have to say it. Like it's that was so good. Even the opening was amazing in Marine. Like it's not even just like this part of the episode that was great, and the dialogue. 
I still can't believe that happened. Like I was saying, like, you know, it's it's Game of Thrones. A lot of people get killed off, but I still I was really hoping he wouldn't have died. Where is he? Wait, they're keeping Ramsey prisoner? No, kill him. Don't no ch I don't want any chances of him living. I just don't. I think he definitely deserves a death penalty. Is this where I'll be staying now? What'd they do with the dogs that were in there? I don't know how they could like tame those safely. <laughs> they probably killed them to be honest. You can't kill me. I'm part of you now. Your words will disappear. Your house will disappear. Your name will disappear. All memory of you will disappear. The dogs are in here? Oh, they're still in here. The dogs aren't gonna kill Ramsey. Are they? Aren't they Ramsey's dogs? My hands will never harm me. You haven't fed them in seven days. You said it yourself. Oh, shit. Oh, well, there you go. They'll get hungry. They're loyal beasts. They were. Now they're starving. <laughs> oh, that is so brilliant. That is so brilliant. That's a perfect... Oh, gotta love it. They'll eat him little by little too. That's the that's the crazy thing. They won't even go right away, probably. Oh, oh my god, they showed that. And she's watching. <laughs> oh, he's becoming the flayed man. Pretty much becoming the flayed man if they're tearing off his skin. Even more than a flayed man, if we're gonna be honest. That's the perfect way to end that character. Perfect. And Sansa's smiling. <laughs> and that's how it ends. I gotta listen to this music. This music's so good. This is playing during the battle, right? Okay. That is probably my favorite episode of the show. Uh, previously, I think the Blackwater episode was probably my favorite, but I think this one took the cake. Uh, this one. You know, the, the Night's uh, the Knights Watch battle, oh, I forget which one that was called, the one in season four, that was definitely up there as one of my favorites, the Battle of Hardhome. I, I'm, I'm a sucker for battles, I'm sorry, I'll just, of course those are usually going to be some of my favorite episodes, but then other than that, obviously, the Red Wedding episode was definitely up there as one of the best. I love the Tyrion's Trial episode, that one was phenomenal, some of the best dialogue I've ever seen in television. Uh, even season four finale was really great. The one when Oberyn died was really great. Um, what other episodes were phenomenal? I'm just trying to list off like my favorite episodes, I guess. I don't know. This, this one's definitely up the top, though. I feel like it just has to be. I don't know. Like that was that was too freaking good. That was just so perfectly directed, perfectly shot. The whole battle, all of it, it played out perfectly. You know, it had that last moment where you thought they were all gonna just lose, and then. The Knights of the Vale come running in and it's so perfect. It would have been even better if Brienne showed up, but I know she probably wouldn't have made it in time. That would have been a bit unrealistic. So it's whatever. I absolutely loved that stuff, man. I cannot, I just can't exclaim anymore. Like this is a type of, ep there's a couple episodes in this show I would have loved to have seen in theaters. I know that's, you know, they weren't playing in theaters, but I don't know if they were to ever show them in theaters just for like some fun fan event i would so be down for that because this is an episode that deserves to be on the damn big screen absolutely amazing i was worried the battle at winterfell was not going to happen until season seven because um they were like they were talking about the past couple episodes but it's like okay i don't know if it's going to happen soon i feel like it could happen anytime now or it could happen next season but i'm very thankful it happened now because it, it was the perfect time to finally get rid of that damn Ramsey character, get rid of the Boltons, they're just done for. And I'm gonna assume that means the next big threat going into season seven is probably just gonna be the White Walkers. Obviously, we still have some other things to deal with. Um, you know, Daenerys, she's not you know a villain, but she is st still there in the story. We have to do something with those characters, and I'm sure Euron Greyjoy is probably gonna be a problem for them, but. For John, I think he's safe for now until the White Walkers show up again. Probably next season is my guess. Obviously, you still have everything going on at King's Landing, which honestly, as much as I am really enjoying some of the stuff at King's Landing lately, it does feel so irrelevant to the rest of the story. Like, it's its own thing, kind of. Like, I don't know, <laughs> which I'm fine with. It's not a problem. I'm just saying, like, I, I'm curious as to see how that's going to play into what's happening here. 
And I just realized Sam didn't even return yet, so he's got to return soon. And um, yeah, I just I absolutely love that battle. That was incredible. Thank you all for watching. Let me know your thoughts of this episode in the comments. I will see you on my next one. Don't forget to watch the full uncut reaction on my Patreon. Peace out.